Hello, welcome back to Silver Thread Sewing. I'm Diane. This is Friday Sews. So as always, thank you for stopping by my channel. Um, I hope everyone's well and had a good week. Um, and as always, I wanted to say thank you to Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room for starting the hashtag Friday Sews and for her kindness in allowing us to join in so we can find people who enjoy sewing. So I don't usually do a Friday Sews two weeks in a row, uh, like in a, like one week and then the next week I usually skip a week. But I had a few things, a couple things about finished, one thing finished and a couple other things cut out. And I thought, well, maybe I would just give you a little update and share a couple patterns. Um, they're kind of surprise patterns. <laughs> And I'll explain that to you, but let me first tell you what um, what I finished. I finished a pair of the Largo cargo shorts that I talked about in last week's video. And what I did, I just uh, made the inseam 12 inches and um, finished these just with the back pockets and the front pockets. And I have worn them already about three times this week. They've been washed once and dried and got them back on today. And I just have them on with my, I don't remember which t-shirt this was, the Malva tee, I think, that I made for the So Frugal Challenge a couple months ago. It's just the red one that I had salvaged the fabric out of a dress I messed up. <laughs> So anyway, I'll share that for sure, but I think it's the Malva T is the one this one is, but I might be wrong. I am wrong sometimes. <laughs> Don't ask my husband. He'll tell you I'm wrong all the time, but anyway. Um, so I finished these shorts, and I'll put pictures in of me wearing them, and um, I love the way they hang straight. The side seams are right where they need to be. Um, I just really like these, and I've got two pair cut out. Um, it's the home deck fabric that I got when Walmart was having the clearance sale. And I paid I paid $5 for a couple of these two yard pieces. And then at the end they had the clearance and it was $3. Uh, so three yards for two, uh, two yards for $3 or two yards for $5. So I had a couple more that I only had two yards of and I was gonna make another pair of shorts. And I've got those cut out. And then the rest that I have, I have two pieces of each color. So there's at least one more that I want to make a pair of summer pants because it's pretty lightweight, but it's 100% cotton and it washes good and it's very cool and comfortable to wear. Um, I had another pair of Largo cargo pants and they're made in this green, kind of almost a canvasy fabric, but it's a little bit lighter than that. So I had, when I made these, I had tried to put a snap on the, the waistband instead of a button at the top of the zipper. And I had made a hole and I made the hole too big for the snap. So they had kind of stretched out and ripped out and I could wear them, but they didn't look good. I found enough scraps of this fabric to cut a new waistband. And so that is what I have done. I cut a new waistband and I used my interfacing piecing technique where I piece the interfacing together and I'm gonna put a new waistband on these pants because I love them, they fit me well, the zipper works great, they're great. They're good summer weight pants, but I didn't like the way the snap had stretched out and I, I goofed that up. So I've got a new waistband and I'm gonna fix those hopefully this week and finish them. Now, the side of me on my mannequin is my um, Love Notions Rhapsody, and I cut the short sleeved pattern, but I lengthened the bodice from the bodice area down. I lengthened it by about 18 inches to make just a loose fitting Rhapsody blouse into a dress. And um, I have it almost finished. I have, I'm doing French seams on the inside, and so I have one sleeve halfway in the other sleeve not yet and i put um i'm going to put bias binding around the neck i didn't do the opening in the front like the pattern calls for i find that i can get that on over my head just fine so i just cut it all the way up on the fold and then um it has the has the pleat in the back right there and um i had 
I haven't done any of that yet. I still have to do the neckline, the sleeves, finish them, and the hem. And I, this is a rayon chalet from Fabric Mart Fabrics that I've had for a long time. And um, I couldn't decide how to do the hem. I know that you're supposed to let anything woven when it's cut on the bias drop before you hem it. And I couldn't figure out how I was gonna know how to straighten that hem up and make it keep its shape, this curved shape that it has. So um, I know you can take your pattern piece and lay it back out, and but I find that hard once the seams have been sewed for the side seams. So what I did, I took, um, before, I, before I finished it or anything, I took a ruler and I just took a chalk marker and marked one inch up from the bottom of the hem. So when this finishes dropping, or if it does drop, um, probably has a little bit already, I can take my ruler and measure down to the bottom from that mark and anything that's over one inch would be where I need to trim it. So I don't know if that'll work. I'm sure that's probably not the, the correct way to do it because this channel is about what not to do. <laughs> So we'll see if that works, but I'm very happy with it so far and it did fit. I'm not 100% sure. I think I'm going to need to take it in at the waist just a little bit probably um, just to give it a little more shaping. I'm not sure yet, but it did fit and I love it and it's flowy and loose and I really like the way it looks at the top. So um, we'll see how that goes. So there was two new look patterns that I really wanted when they were having the clearance. They may still be having the clearance at Hobby Lobby, but my Hobby Lobby didn't have any more of the new look patterns and the ones that I was looking for. So a friend found the two that I wanted and I was going to share those with, with you as well as two other patterns that are kind of new to me. <laughs> So, the first one that, that, that I was able to get my hands on was New Look 6776, and it's a dress pattern, and it has princess seams, and you can do, um, you can either do sleeveless, or you can do these really pretty sleeves, and I just thought it was really pretty dress, and I would probably make this version. I'm a little worried that it might be a little too low in the front, but I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. <laughs> and the other new look pattern is new look 6289, and it's just uh, elasticized pants and shorts. And the reason I wanted it, <clears throat> I like the pants and I think they would be beautiful, but I wanted to make these shorts in probably a rayon or a cotton lawn or something lightweight. And they just looked really pretty. And I'll show you the line drawings on the back, hopefully. So that's the only two new patterns I have. Now, I had done some more cleaning this week. I'm winding it down. I've still got just a couple things to do here and there. But I had went through a bunch of fabric and went through my quilt scraps and just kind of tidied everything up and cleaned and straightened up my sewing room. And I have a tub, and I'll put a picture of it, just a little plastic tub, and it has everything that needs to be mended, everything that, um, like if I have a shirt or something that fits me really well, and I want to, once it's no longer wearable, I want to take it apart to use it as a pattern or, or make a pattern from it, then I put it in that little basket, and I have, um, I have a dress that needs a, a new little loop put for the, for the button. Um, I have uh, I have a pair of Greg's pajamas that wore out, so I've kept them. I took them apart, and I've kept those for a pattern, so I've made him one pair of pajamas. We all probably have random things that you put in your basket. Well, <clears throat> when I pulled out that basket this week, I found two things that I had cut out. Now, both of these were cut out when I was quite a bit thinner. So the first pattern that I found, and it's it's cut out of a real pretty burgundy color velour fabric or a stretch velvet fabric, but it's Simplicity 8787. And it's not the kind of dress that I normally am drawn to because of my shape. But for whatever reason, I just found the dress 
beautiful. And this, I cut it out when I was at my smallest. And I cut it out in the size that I thought would probably fit me. But I'm not 100% sure that it will fit me. But I just love that ruching up the side. And I just thought that would be flattering. So I had started this dress in this beautiful stretch velvet fabric and it's a really pretty color. I think I was gonna make it for um, Christmas time to wear, kind of a little bit more of a nice dress. But if you can see the ruching down the side, it's just so pretty. But I'm pretty sure that um, I laid it back in my bin because I thought it was going to be too tight. <laughs> and now that I've gained some weight, I'm certain it would be too tight. But I do want to finish it, and maybe even if I can't wear it, I still will learn how to make it. And maybe I could even use, like, Nancy Zeman's uh, pivot and slide technique and make the pattern a little bigger through the, through the hips and the waist. I'm pretty sure the top will fit me okay. But um, I'm gonna try to get this worked on because I just love this fabric and I just thought this pattern would be so pretty. But this has been in that bin for probably three or four years now and never has been finished. So I think that I should finish it and then if I can't wear it, maybe I can pass it to somebody who can. Um, and I had another one, the same story, except I didn't buy this pattern and I didn't buy this fabric. Long story short, a friend had moved here and she didn't have a sewing room. She had a sewing machine and she had a serger, but she didn't have a place to set them up and leave them. They, they moved into a smaller house. So she, uh, it was right after I had moved my sewing room downstairs into this room and we were talking one day and she said, well, you know, I have a serger. It's a brand new serger. It's never been taken out of the box. She said, I don't know how to use it. And she said, I don't have anywhere to set it up and leave it. And I don't have anywhere to even set my sewing machine up. So she said, how about you take this brand new serger, learn to thread it, learn to use it, set it up in your sewing room, and then you use it as much as you want to on whatever you want to make. And she said, then when I want to sew something, I'll come to your sewing room and maybe I can borrow your machine and use the serger just a project now and then. She did a lot of um, like historical um, costumes, I think is what she made primarily. So I I said, sure. And I was, I didn't think I needed a serger. I had never, they, they, they were intimidating to me. So I didn't think I would ever use a serger. So I'd never even looked at them really. But I brought her serger home and got the manual out and I watched YouTube videos and I learned to thread it. <clears throat> and it was a, it was a singer something. And if I can find a picture of it, I'll put it in. But it was a brand new singer serger and it worked great. I didn't have one bit of trouble with it. But when she came to sew one day, she brought me a dress pattern and she had bought me a piece of fabric. And this is the dress pattern that she bought me. And it is a Butterick Lisette pattern and it's um, B6411. And isn't that beautiful? And it reminds me of the dress that I tried to make, the Style Art dress a while back that had the, had the thing across the front, but I messed it up too. But this one is very pretty, and this is the fabric that she picked out, and it's a very slinky knit. It's very lightweight. I guess in ITY, it feels really slick. Um, but I have it cut out, and I cut it out. This pattern goes to a size 14, and I cut it out in the largest size, so I cut it out in a size 14. And... I never started putting the pieces together. I had done the gathering stitches or the stay stitching on parts of it, but it's all the pieces are still here and I've never finished it. And I, after, so after a while, I had just kind of put it in my project bag and stuck it back in the bin and had never made it. And then my friend had to, was moving again after two or three years <laughs> of this sitting over here um, and me never making it. Um, she was moving, so she took her serger with her, 
so that's when I decided I wanted a serger and went through the whole thing of trying to get a serger and all that. So, um, I have never finished this dress, needless to say. And I thought while I'm between projects, like when I get this finished, I don't, and the shorts, the Largo shorts, I don't have anything else in mind to make right away. So I thought I might finish this dress and finish this dress. And uh, that way they would be out of my bin and I would have that much done. And then even if I can't wear them now, even if they're too big for me, I thought maybe somebody else can wear them. And this is another one that I would love to remake because I really like the way that looks with the the draped part around the sides. I think it's slimming. And I think that she picked a beautiful fabric. And I'm sure that I have some lightweight knit. And if you look at the back, it's just two pieces. You know, this whole pattern is five pieces. But anyway, I just think it's a really pretty pattern. And as I think this one is a really pretty pattern. But I have not finished them. And I'm, I'm just, I'm certain that this one in the burgundy probably won't fit me. But maybe this one might. I don't know. But I will try them on when I get them made. And if they don't look too disgusting, I will show you how they look. But anyway, that's all I've been doing. I've still got, like I said, a little bit of cleaning. That's my life part. I still have a few things I need to get done. But um, I've kind of taken a little break this week. Most of the time I cleaned my washer and dryer. They were, they were, they hadn't been cleaned on the inside, you know, and they were just gunky and the dryer vent needed to be cleaned. And I got all that done, so I'm real happy about it. Um, Still got a few things to do, but I'm really wanting to get back to sewing and not having to work so much. <laughs> so, so that's that. But I will hopefully have all this finished up in a week or two, and I'll be able to show you what I did. But um, I read, and I think I replied to everybody's comments, and I'm just so grateful to you. Y'all are so kind and so supportive and so encouraging, and it just means the world. It really does, and I feel like I know y'all. And, uh, you know, like with all this I stuff and all the things we go through, um, it's just good to have friends that support you and that you can ask questions if you need to. And, um, yeah, it's just really great. And I'm so glad that you're here with me. Um, so I will leave you with that. And just remember, don't ever give up on sewing. Just keep right on hanging in there no matter um, how discouraged you might get at times over things not working out well or not fitting the way you'd hoped. Um, you'll never have time or money to get into any kind of trouble as long as you sew. So there's that. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a great week and I will see you soon. Bye.